And this is exactly the kind of aesthetic that I love. <laughs> Shopaholic in today's floral ukay ukay haul. Guys, if you're a returning bombshell, you know those are so not Mrs. F. I'm like a super mild mannered girl trapped inside a very loud body. This is my absolute aesthetic. One day, I will show you my collection of interior design books, and they are all like this shabby chic, vintage, uh, cottage like. Very dainty, delicate. Lola ear. And I told Mr. F I'm going to design our house like that. And he said he's going to annul me. So I had no choice. Maybe I can try the persona that is dying to come out from within. Okay, let's switch music and let's try it out. Hi guys, this is Charlotte F. Welcome to my floral ukay ukay haul. Thank you so much for coming back. <laughs> Bagay ba? Anyway guys, I cannot guarantee where I have found all of these because these have been stuck in my wardrobe for a long time. Waiting for their spotlight and waiting for their turn at a YouTube video. And most of these came from a neighboring ukay ukay that is now rest in peace. The point of these ukay ukay hauls is to inspire you to help me with my advocacy of recycling fashion. Let's start off with this gorgeous little thing that looks like children's clothes <laughs> this is from the instagram shop called clothes lovely and this was for 100 pesos this is so gorgeous it has like a petal waistline detail which i absolutely adored it's so dainty but obviously i can't fit it mm. but suffice it to say if this had fit me you know I would have rocked this. Confidence much? Wow. So guys, please leave your email addresses below for a giveaway and being the first to know when my online live selling pre-loved sale is gonna be exciting! And down and down. The next item I'm going to show you is this blue and white floral vest. It also has a checkered inside and at the back it's checkered. It's just my aesthetic. My house is filled with blue and white. It's so refreshing. It's so calming. It's so... Uh, that doesn't sound very calming, is it? I can wear this alone or I can wear this on top of anything. The kind of extra design any plain outfit needs, whether it's a dress, a top, or anything. This was worth 10 pesos at that neighboring RIP Ukay Ukay. Moving on to the same neighboring Ukay Ukay, this one was for 150 and I was like, <gasps> 150? How could you charge me 150 for a crop top? The cheapness is real. All the young people on TikTok who have millions of followers are wearing hoodies. So I'm like, I'm gonna have millions of followers, so I need a hoodie. The hoodie comes first, then the million followers. That's what you call advanced thinking. I know Manang, when she saw this, was like, Makang basura yan, ah. <laughs> Well, Manang, you're so judgmental, huh? <laughs> but I love faded material, especially in interior design. And like I said, it carries over that design aesthetic to fashion. Florals just remind me of grandmothers, and that gives me some comfort, and that gives me a sense of peace, you know? The next one is a 10 peso. This was like a Hawaiian shirt waiting to happen. Except the Hawaiian got shy, so the colors became muted and subdued <laughs> instead of loud. You can use this as an oversized top and tuck it in with some mom jeans or high-waisted jeans. Or you can tie the bottom for some kind of a bow tie crop top thing. So the next okay okay top is this one and this costs me 150 pesos. So this one is like a chiffon, sheer material but it already has lining inside. And this one is like a long top with some garterized waistline. This is a recent purchase from Estancia Mall. 150 pesos. I love the sheerness. It's so flowy. It's so dainty. Oh my goodness. The next item that I'm going to show you is this one from the same Estancia stalls. Guys, floral and electric pleated and then this neckline is just so unique and as you can see this fit this style is so stretched out it's so worn and torn and decimated and desecrated and desolated and rotting and decrepit and 
just like my brain cells from doing all of these hauls for you. But anyway, I don't mind deceased items like these because you can always just pin them. Or if you're good at stitching, then stitch away. You can't just let it go. You can't just set it free. You have to be competitive when it comes to ukay ukay because so many people out there are just waiting to pounce on your finds. <laughs> This one. She has no morals when it comes to okay guys. Guys, oh my gosh. I was determined to show you me. I love the combination of pink and blue. Pink because I'm so greedy girl. And blue because it reminds me of the sea. That is so me, guys. And that's why this one is the embodiment of me. Oh my goodness, guys. This is an oversized shirt that I picked up for like 10 pesos. How much more Lola can I get? Shoulder pads and faded cloth overused. I don't know how many gallons of sweat this item contains for it to be faded like this, but I don't care. Thank you to all of the people who overused this so that now it has come to me so loved and abused in the best way. And this next item are tulips. <laughs> I love tulips because I love the Netherlands where my ate and my niece and nephew are. Look at this, guys. This is so old looking. The buttons, my gosh. Who am I? Lola Carlota. As if I need more people to think I'm older than I am. No, that's not true. You actually think I'm younger than I am. It's so sweet. Thank you. Anyway, I love this. It makes me feel like this is the outfit that I would use on a holiday. The next one is, it's a pajama top. But I like wearing pajama tops for outerwear. What is the big deal? The prints are always so relaxing most of the time. Sometimes you get a print like Pinocchio or Mickey Mouse or Goofy on your pajamas. But what I mean, pajamas are normally meant to stimulate your sleeping hormone. That's why their aesthetic are so calming and relaxing. So this has a brand called Gelato Peak. The flowers are like buds. I'm gonna pair this up with like a leopard print. Any shade of pink with leopard print is like such a winner. So even this muted pink. That's what you're here for, for some unusual, out of this world styling. The next item is another 150 peso top. This beautiful chiffon lavender that is cross freaking stitch. I mean, come on. It has a cinched wrist, so it's gonna be a puff sleeve. A little bit of a crop top with smocking here and a smock neckline. Pale lavender. I'm so in love with my clothes guys i don't know how i'm going to sell you pre-loved items so this would actually look good with mom jeans because it's cropped up so this is again from the estancia stalls that i was talking about and i wish i lived in the north now so i can go there for every new arrivals drop this is another one from that estancia kiosk so this is navy blue and pink chiffon top with some layers on the sleeve with some tie button on the neckline with some layers on the chest area. A see-through fabrics remind me of being relaxed because it's so cool to the touch. It's so breezy. You guys know, I'm on a winning streak with my ukai hauls. Oh my gosh! We're moving on to this skirt that I have. It's a maxi skirt. It's 10 pesos from that RIP ukai ukai guys. I don't know how I'm going to move on from the loss of my 10 peso ukai ukai shop. I don't know how manang is gonna be able to take it. No, wala na. So look at this print. Look how faded it is, guys. That's what I love about maxi skirts. It's the, the movement and the breeziness. You feel the fabric with your legs. You can still see that this has a tag. This is from Goodwill. Actually, guys, the 10 peso ukay ukay that I keep talking about, they have a lot of American clothes. The next one is a blue and white puff sleeve. You can either wear it as an off shoulder or you can wear it this way. It has a tie. It's a maxi dress. It's so flowy. It has lining. This is so date worthy. And this one, Mr. F won't hate so much. He's a 100% manly man. He doesn't like anything. That is overly old looking. I'm gonna feel like such a girl with this wow. one. You can call me Charmaine. The next dress is from the online Instagram shop called Cara Apparel. And this one is a pretty unique pattern. It's like daisies and it has checkered print. The buttons are all the way down. So it's like a t-shirt dress with a tie at the waistline. This kind of dress is like a glorified pambahay for me. It's a very textured dress actually, guys. I don't know if it's from the wear and tear or if it's deliberately like that. Seems like kind of a linen blend. So the next one is another item from Cara Apparel. And this is... 
<laughs> like a jumper maxi dress. This is like a dirty white, almost like ancient yellow already, with like tiny floral print. It has pockets. It's all the way down the buttons. And of course, I'm gonna wear something here, otherwise <laughs> it's gonna be a scandal. I'll do like a long sleeve and turtleneck inside. It has double buttons on the top. This next one is from an Instagram online shop called Dress Me Up Too. And this is this chiffon black with a separate pattern and a plunging neckline. I bought this for 100 pesos. I remember how much this was because I was like, okay, sold. It's supposed to have a cinched wrist, but because of the overuse, the garter is already outstretched. Our last item, I know, it's so loud and it really ruins the aesthetic of everything. <laughs> but it's definitely floral and I can't not show this to you, this electric pleated. This has lettuce hem, almost had shoulder pads. This is a maxi dress and this is super sized. I bought this in another Ukay Ukay in Pampanga when you're about to exit Dau. And I bought this for 250 pesos, which I'm like, no, no, how no, dare no, you charge no, me 250? No, no. It even has belt loops, but I will belt it up freestyle wise, high waist style. And if you wear this like oversized without the belt, it's so Donya. Parang, I can see myself wearing this when I'm 80 in my hacienda and I'm going to call Facundo. Wow. So, let's include this top because this is ukay ukay after all. How can I forget this beautiful nightwear? This is actually my nighty. It's just so dainty, you know? It's cotton. It was 100 pesos in the neighboring ukay ukay. And I'm like, how could you? 100 pesos for sando? I'll take it. And there you go, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this floral ukay ukay haul. I think this is probably one of my personal favorites. I hope it brought you some peace and serenity, even if I'm so loud still. <laughs> Anyway, don't forget to comment down below your email addresses in case you want to join an Ukay Ukay giveaway. And if you want to be the first to know when my pre-loved sale is going to be. I'm very sad to let them go, except I just won't be able to breathe if I try to keep squeezing myself in them, so I have to let go. I would like to let you know about the schedule here in my channel right now, okay? Upload Saturdays at 5 p.m. is for the things that I know you want. Hauls or whatever is Ukay related, Tay Tay Tianjay related, and then the upload Tuesdays, which was my schedule before. We're we're trying to bring out two videos a week. I'm a changed woman. So upload Tuesdays at 5 p.m. will be about brainisms because a lot of you have been asking me about those charlosophies or what I call the brainisms part of this channel. It appears as if that those videos make a big impact on their thoughts and on their lives so i have to continue making them so that i will be a youtuber that is a thought provoker that is what's gonna bring me happiness so there you go those are the announcements about this channel thank you everybody for watching and i'll see you in the next upload saturday and tuesday bye stay safe and sane and this is exactly the kind of aesthetic that i uh, what did i want to say that is this aesthetic aesthetic I became, I became more, I, uh, <laughs> what's your English grammar -age? Pink because I'm so greedy girl. And boy because, and boy to loy. Ukay, ukay haul, I, gi I gave you peace. If you want to be shallow and consumerism, and consumeristic, <laughs> consumer. Ah, oh, the next one. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, uh. <laughs> so, <laughs> what was I going to say?